pop out chat. Change it to live chat. Don't know why it has top chat on YouTube. Yeah. When it, why don't it just stay as live chat? Got Wait for people to start filtering in. I know there'll not be as many people today because uh, the Harry Potter colorathon is still going on. Oh. Well, in case you're watching this back, uh, this is part two of the Stormy Sky tutorial. I'll put a link below for the uh, first tutorial in case you haven't seen it. Just carry on masking off this mushroom. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you saw in part one. If you saw it, it just needs to cover enough so we don't get paint on it. These little thin sticky notes are ideal because you can go around. All different shapes you don't need to cut them out to make the shape first oh, I've got two flies annoying me now oh, forgot to get the fly spray again The only problem with warm weather and having cat food even though I've got rid of all the cat food from this morning the smell must linger because the flies come in I keep looking for it covered best as I can for now like I say don't have to be perfect right I've got my slate with the paints on that I'll be using uh, these are gouache by De La Rowney. I've got ultramarine, a white, a black, and then because I haven't got a brown in those, I've got a Pebio uh, burnt umber that I'm using. Get some T 
tissue off. Morning Nelly, how are you? And thank you for coming. I know we're not going to have a lot of people today because of the Harry Potter colour along. Right, I've got my selection of brushes again. Different sizes, quite old and battered. I'm going to start with the largest one that I've got. Dampen the end of the bristles again and take it off. And because I want this side of the sky to be darker than that side, I'll be mainly using a lot of black and brown. So take a bit of burnt umber and put it there. And a bit of ultramarine. bit of black mix it in now I'll zoom you in now I've shown you how I mix it just find the camera control just a second There we go. Bring that over here. Take that. Take that way. There we go. Right, so I'm coming in in this corner and same again, I'm doing a scrubbing technique. Hi Pickle. Hi Caroline. Welcome. How are you both? Hope you're all well today. I'm doing great, thank you, Nelly. Right. We start scrubbing again, and as I said, don't press on hard. It'll damage your paper. It's called squat. It's called scrubbing, but we're not actually scrubbing the paper. Not watercolor. It's gouache and one acrylic because I ain't got brown in, in the gouache so that one's acrylic it's the Pebio in burnt umber and the others are gouache or gouache however you say it they're the other three colours hey Tracy welcome I'm doing good Caroline thank you um, it was quite hot yesterday, but it's a bit cooler today. Right, so, as I said, we're going little tiny swirly motions. And we're only barely touching the paper. And we're moving it round until it thins out. And then we can start moving it and print it where we want it. And I've found the perfect stamp to use for lightning. So I'm looking forward to testing that out as well. Being very careful here for some reason these sticky pads are not sticking very well today I think it's because it's quite warm so I'm being very careful and I'll come in with a smaller brush when we take the sticky pads off because I don't want it going on my mushrooms just take it off that edge there right now I want more blueprint to it this time so I'm picking quite a bit up to that amount and then I'm going to mix it in this that I've already laid down. I 
and I'm going to come away from it again in little motions and I've only got a thin gap here so I'm being very careful So I want get it how I want it and then I can come back and blend it in with the black. And again down this side. The darkest area is going to be this right hand side of the page and then it's going to roll in and get lighter when it hits the other page again. Yeah it's paint. Um, I, don't, I don't exactly know what gouache is, whether it's a watercolour and uh, acrylic mixed together. I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that. Right, so, a bit more of the dark up. Like I say, for some reason these have keep trying to lift off, I think it's where how warm it is today. So if you do do this, be very careful of your sticky notes. And it doesn't matter if it covers all your hands with paint, as long as you don't go and touch your paper after with mucky hands. So again, be careful. Want some more brown in. Mix that in. A touch of white this time, just on edge. And we're coming here, taking it round. And bringing it up Who's offline? Did they lose internet? Taking, it's taking its time to catch up on my phone again. Well, we're not going to start having problems with internet as well. That's the last thing we want. Right, what did you miss? And I'll recap again. Is there anything you want me to go over again if you missed it? That's good that it's back. And can everybody hear me okay? You didn't lose me for long then. 
Right, that's good. Right, I'll pick some more of this light grey up. I'll just moisten my brush a bit because it's going a bit dry again with how warm it is today. Try and hold these down. I don't know if you can see, but they're trying to jump off a page. It's a bit brown this one. I'm going to take some more blue tint in it. That's better. change to a smaller brush again in a minute because it's getting quite difficult there's mo a lot more on this side of the page picture wise than what there were on the other side it's getting a little bit difficult now That's good that you can hear me all right. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've gone to a slightly bigger table today. I'm not so crowded. Right, moisten me. Bristles. Right, if I take these off, I can see exactly where I'm going now. Now we're not using the big brush. Drying quick. Where is he is? That's all come off because they're trying to jump off anyway. a bit more so I don't have to use a tiny brush in a large area feather it back into that bloat and then we want 
more blue and lighten it up again. It's a lot like tighter area on this bit. Okay, Caroline, that's all right. I think I'm going to have to get a coffee in a minute. I'm going to have to go down to a more tinier brush in a minute. I didn't realise how crowded this one was going to be. So anybody new who's watching this back, I suggest you go and watch part one to get a better idea of how to do the rolling clouds because it's in a larger area but basically what it is is every time you pick up a different colour it's going to look different and you blend it in with what you've already put down and the swirling motion look, makes it look like rolling clouds. We're not trying to aim for a cloud to look like a cloud. So we're not drawing clouds. We're just doing an impression of clouds. Fill this in. I've brought one bristle that's insisting on sticking out where I don't want it. So I'm being very careful not to get it to go on the mushroom. The Harry Potter colorathon is still going on at the minute. I've been enjoying participating and watching along, even though I don't own any of them books. Watching the pictures that everybody are doing, they're very inspiring. If you make it one job, I love them. Got that Jimmy mushroom droplet there. I presume he's done them as droplets because I've never seen a mushroom look like that before. <laughs> Dry. It dries quite quick this as well so you can go in with a second coat of different shades and build your effect to your sky up that way especially if you're working in a small area like this. Thank you. 
gonna have to move my arm a second guys getting this very tight corner here people <laughs> questioning myself actually beyond this section because of how small an area I've got to work in I don't seem to be getting the bigger change effects that I were getting on the other page but if I come with a second coat with a different colour I'm hoping it'll look less flat oh you've been practicing awesome you'll have to show show me your uh, practice sheets have you been doing it on bits of card paper welcome back caroline yeah um my my hand's shaky too, Tracy, but I found leaning it on the my elbow on the table while I'm doing it steadies my hand. Thank you, Doc. Want a bit of chocolate? No, I'm okay, thank you. I can't eat chocolate and talk. No, I can't eat chocolate and talk although um Isabel manages it quite well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Still not quite dry enough up there to bring a different colour in so I'll carry on filling this for a little bit and then as soon as it's dry I'll go back up to the top with a different colour. I'm trying very hard not to get it in on my picture. I don't know what's happened to this brush it worked perfect last time but it's splaying out now and I don't know why if I'd have known I could have picked up, up some more cheap ones while I were at the shop try more water see if I can get it to go flat Sometimes if you wet them and slightly twist the bristles together like that, you can get them to go back to a point but as you can see this one I don't know if you can tell it's too tiny but it's splaying out even as soon as I let go it doesn't stay at a point look oh. it's being a pain What's Pickle said? I've missed it. Yeah, I've been practicing, but it don't look anything like a storm yet. Um, each time it dries, try again over at top, and you'll get different effects. And remember to keep alternating colours: uh, mix brown, blue, and a bit of black, and then brown blue bitter white and keep alternating like that then uh, you'll build up a storm no problems caroline says hi ian hello he's feeling a lot better today caroline thank you I'm going to be getting a video together to upload for all, all my finished pages. It's not going to be just 
June though, there'll be a few that's for May as well because I didn't get uh, many uploaded in May. Hey Joey, welcome. Right, I think I've managed to finally get it to go back together for a little bit. So let's try again. remember when you go in with a little brush no matter what colour you're using feather it back into what you've already done and then you'll not get an harsh line And trust me to go right in with a complicated page to try and show you how to do this. I mean any normal brain would just think, oh, we'll find a different page with less stuff on. Practice on that first, then come and do it on here. But no, I have to go in straight in deep and on the hardest picture with the most stuff in. Sucker for punishment, I am. What colours are you meant to be using? Well, it's just the four colours again, pickle. Uh, same as the last video. We've got black. Are you writing it down? We've got black. It doesn't matter if you're using gouache or you use acrylic, it works exactly the same. You want a ultramarine. And you want a white and then you want a burnt umber and that's it that's all the four colors you need and if you keep alternating between mixing black white and the blue for the darker areas you want and then you mix the burnt umber the ultramarine and the white to make a lighter grey to come over after. You can put more blue in for dramatic effect changes between the black and the grey. The more brown you put in it'll look like the purpley in the sky. So you just keep alternating mixing colours together different quantities and just slap it on. That's basically it. That's all all you're doing. You'd pick a fiddly page as well. <laughs> I think that was that's what makes us both alike. Don't do anything for easy. Right. This time I'm going to bring a little bit more of that blue in and take a little bit of white this time. A very tiny amount of white. I'm going to come up here. And fill that in. 
want a little bit of water on my palette because it's drying out. Better. And feather that into that other blue. And I'm not going right to the mushroom to cover everything just yet. I'm going just up to the line but if it leaves a white dot then I can go in after or I can go in with pencil it doesn't matter you can still get it to blend in About to the darker shade as we're coming down. And change it again. That's filled that area. Alexandra welcome I thought you'd be following the uh, colorathon or as coloring F finished again now that's nice oh before I carry on i just want to say caroline that mouse you finished is absolutely beautiful and to say you were struggling with fur you've done an amazing job and i'm really proud of you I don't know if she's streaming or not, Alex. I just expected you being there, not here. Oh, and nail polish remover does work, does it? That's good. Only use a tiny bit, though. You don't want it to ruin your picture. Um, purple works too, Pickle. It's just that I haven't got any purple. Um, just use tiny amounts of purple though. But yeah, you can still use purple. You can also use red, cadmium red as well. But again, only in t small amounts. You're welcome, Caroline. I mean, every word on it, you've done beautiful. Have you started your brown mouse yet? this time because I'm coming over the other side of the mushroom again just work that back down because it's drying awfully quick today all right let's see how we go with this then I'm gonna come in here and take it off this side this time and it wants to 
let's change tone because it's mixing in and looking exactly the same so bring some brown in it careful not to shake at this precise second it's very delicate on this bit and again I'm still feathering it in to the other it don't matter that it's not the same color because it will look like a different cloud on top of the blue There we go. Just add a thought pickle. If you're using purple, take the ultramarine out and use the purple with the burnt umber. Right, you're doing it on stream on Tuesday. That's all right. Well, at least while you're doing the purple, you got the technique of the brush. You're practicing that way. It doesn't matter where it looks like, as long as you're practicing the movement with the brush. You just have different coloured clouds. I'm the same Tracy when it comes to uploading videos it takes me forever I've still got the June Jux one to do properly uh, and we're now 1st of July tomorrow so I'm going to be late on that uh, I've got me uh, finished completed pictures video to do as well I ain't even started that yet but I've started putting little tags on my pictures to remember which ones I need to film. See, live live streams so easy. You just press a button, start streaming, and start talking. But to do a video, you just uh, there's too many things to think about. You've got to think about what order you're doing everything and what to say. At least when people are asking you questions, you can answer them back. But just a video on its own with little old me I haven't got a clue what to say <laughs> oh Caroline <laughs> thank you <laughs> your coach will be in and out though because I'll be at school car park again because <laughs> you're streaming afternoon don't you on a Tuesday taking a little bit more ultramarine in it and I'm darkening it down with the burnt umber again and I'm coming underneath here now and it's going to be darker again I'm coming into the blue Oh, 
Oh, I want it going that little bit there. I don't want to stick my head right in the page or else I'll be in camera, but I can't get to fill that little hole. It's going to have to have a pencil. If I mess about too much, it's going to go on mushroom. Let's see if I've got a different brush I can use that's not too big. Try that one. But your messes are so beautiful, Pickle. How you can say that to uh, Dobby one and the other one you've done where you aggred, they're not messes. Yep, messy is good for a stormy sky because it's all random. It's as random as random gets. The only random bit is going round the edges of your coloured bits. You have to be a bit more careful on that. That one's working a lot better. Right, we're dry. Yes. Right. Put that in that water for a bit. And pick this one back up. Still got quite a bit of black in it. Right, I'm going to come up here again now it's dry and change the tone of that again. We still want it dark but I want some more colour over the top of it. I'm taking some brown. And a very minute touch of white. minute touch of ultramarine there we go I'm coming here and tucking it in again and I'm being totally random where I'm putting the different shade cloud top so I've brought a bit more white and I'm coming in the gaps of what I've already done over the top of that and underneath that bit and that'll bring another tone in I don't know if you can tell I'm not really seeing my screen very well I'm relying on you guys to tell me if it's looking okay or not.
that's that one. Oh, thank you, Joey. See, I can only see if I stick my nose up to the screen at the computer. And it's that far away from me, I can't really tell exactly whether it's uh, looking okay on the screen or not. I'll water it down a bit this time. It's getting quite a bit thick. Got some more ultramarine in it. Come off of this again. Carefully taking it to areas I want it, but not going up to it. Right. Want some jet black on its own. Up on this bit again. That's not white in that corner, it's the page trying to lift and lights shining on it. Right, take these off now. Let's have a look. Need that bit with close look. Came under paper. And right on tipper is here. Right. Take that down a bit more so I don't have to come in with the little brush in a big area. Right. Just see if I can get some in. Oh crap! Just blown them all off. Let's see if I can get some in here. Going in the centre. I'm not going up to the mushroom. Gently bringing it out and round, and I've just caught the edge of that bit. Is this video going to turn into a what not to do? Carefully stippling. I got now I'll come in with a smaller brush.
Bye Nelly. Have a great day. See you soon. Lovely fill that bit in. Don't know about you guys, bro. I don't like seeing white, it keeps shouting at me. Come and colour it. finger straight in paint Careful. Don't want to change colour as he is. <sighs> Trying to fill as much as I can because with some colours it's hard to match with pencil. I've gone very quiet because I'm trying to be delicate round his neck. I can breathe again. Finish my coffee. My phone's got that bigger delay on that my hand's still painting while I'm drinking my coffee and it's very weird to watch. <laughs>
careful watch what you're doing <laughs> yeah, need a lot of coffee for a steady hand round them bits. I'm just going to turn it slightly that way so I can get under here a bit better. I'm still working in the old blue grey that I've already mixed. I've not mixed any different colour yet. when you're doing this try and have a, a rest in between because you I find I hunch my shoulders and I clench up when I'm be, going around delicate things and you're going to cause yourself pain doing that so try and do small areas a little at a time and have a rest in between Enjoy your lunch, Caroline. Now, I'm only bringing this to just in line with under this mushroom because it's going to turn a lighter shade again to come down to the ground. So I'm only taking this on a thin line just up to here. And same under here. And I'm not running the brush across, I'm just dot and dabbing. Because if you run your brush across when you're trying to do a thin line like this, all you're going to do is splay it out and it's going to cover your mushroom. While I'm still with this colour, I'm going to come back up here and finish this bit off.
Bye Tracy, have a good day. See you soon. that bit filled. Right. Bit of brown. I'm mixing some brown in it this time. Let me brush off. Take some ultramarine. I'm going to come and fill around the top of these mushrooms again. It's all right. Now this is quite squashed in this area. Right. We're back up to another dark area up here. Oh, excuse me.
か。ダムベアンベソン。Carefully. Any of them chalk houses left again? Yeah. I'm going to have one of them after. Right. Fancy one. So what are you colouring at minute, Pickle? Are you still doing Harry Potter pictures? You've done three or four at minute, haven't you? You're still doing the one with the Dementor on, Alex? Well, let me say that picture is awesome. So it's drying awfully quick on my tile today. We finally get good weather, but it's not very good for the paints. It's drying it out quick. You're welcome, Alex. It is, it's beautiful. I love how you're doing them rocks. Of course, you're going to have to buy yourself an old load, a new graze by the time you've finished. Now I'm coming to a lighter tone, so I'm taking quite a bit of white into it now. Yeah, 
looks like that. It's a very light blue grey. Coming off the side of this mushroom and trying very hard not to touch it like I've just done. And then feathering it up into the dark. Need some more water. very careful in the spine of the book again because you can't see what you're hitting on the left hand side of your brush so just be very careful sound like that thing that uh, pirate stuff so. where he keeps saying more steam I keep saying more water uh. Saofang You see that you can't, can you? So let me just move it round. Hi, Ray. How are you? Oh. Hang on, guys. I've managed to go and stick my camera on to take a photo at table for some reason. Caught my finger. You want me to show him other side of the page? Let me just move stuff then so I can get round it. Got brushes and wet stuff all over the place. There we go. There we go, Ray. That's what other side looks like. There's still some bits I can see that need touching up. More sections are uh, light bringing in. That's what it looks like as it meets the middle of the other one. Let me zoom out and then you can get the full effect. Two secs. Find my zoom button again. There we go. Mm. 
and that's the full effect of it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, where I've got the uh, light grey blue blotches on this side, it wants some more bringing in onto here because it's too dark at the minute. It's showing too much brown and black. So I want some lighter clouds just to break it up again. <laughs> but eventually when it's all done, it'll look like this is an island and it stops there and all the airs are running away from the lightning storm. Thank you, Ray. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, sweetie. It's not bad to say I've never done anything like this before. Not in a book anyway. I've only ever done it on flat paper. learning as I go. Right, so let me move my stuff back across and zoom you back in. Go find me program again, it keeps hiding. There we go. Bit more to left. There we go. Right, where did I shove my brush? There. I just no, I, I thought I'd drag that through my paint, but I haven't. I know I do silly stuff, but. I've not managed to do it this time. Now I know I put in the title that it were a tutorial. It's not exactly a tutorial because I'm teaching myself at the same time. But if somebody learns something from this, then I'll be happy. And I'd love to see your pictures. Some more water, it's drying out too quick. Sorry about my hand, I'm just right up against the spine of the book again. Being careful not to catch the mushroom on the other page. Please bear with me a second. Blending them two lines together, it looks a bit harsh to me.
That's better. It's a bit softer. Looking a bit uh, wishy washy in that area. So I've changed it. There's some more water. Oh, thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. Everything I do is self-taught. I've never been to a school of art or anything like that. I try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's how I've always been. And I enjoy what I do. Even the felting I'm self-taught with. Just got to come in very carefully in between these leaf gaps. So I'm just lightly dabbing until it fills the area and again down this bit just lightly dabbing in little tiny motions and at the same time hoping it don't touch the leaves or the rabbit I also don't fancy having to colour the rabbit a different colour. I keep saying rabbits, they're not rabbits, the hares. off again it's getting dry again oh, this one's going to be very delicate here it's only a thin gap
Um, just like everybody else as well, I have a lot of failures that's behind the scenes. Try a lot of things out first to see if they're going to work or not. Steady up at the side of that mushroom. There we go. And there, and I'll bring it lighter again. <laughs> Bunnies are little and fluffy. Airs are long and sleek. Bear with me a second, Alex. I can show you. Oh. Oh. I might have to move the camera just a little bit so you can see him properly and zoom out. Zoom out because his face looks massive there. And he's not massive. Come on, zoom out. Thank you. Right. This is an air you get a long sleek body very thin and long uh, arms and legs for running and they have a very long thin face plus long ears where a rabbit is fatter more rounder and they have a wider face, a lot wider, and shorter ears. And they've got a big fluff ball uh, tail where the air has a long, thin, pointy tail. But rabbits will puff right out. And they've got really strong thighs so they look thin and sleek on the air. So that's the difference between air and rabbit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is a Magimorphia, Alex. Let me bring your camera back down now. And zoom you back in. I don't know why my controls keep hiding. To go fishing for them. Right. What's that? My brush. Yeah, I made him. <laughs> Thank you. That's the large size one. There is a medium and a small, Brian got one with me. That's coming in a bit dark. You look like having another dark cloud in the bottom.
leave it there and then I'll bring the light one round it a bit more water some white Get my white has got a lot brown in that. Go in this section this time. I think I'm going to have to bring my chair in. I must be further back than I were before. before I catch his head. Oh, there we go. get the large rolling clouds effects on this side of the page there's just not enough space to do it I'm just hoping the transitions of colours is working enough Just dab in again because I'm in a small area. And it also helps to fill the little white dots that I'm leaving behind. Tight bit here. Right, wash that off so I can get it lighter. Rinse it. Clings well, this paint. Off 
Ayan. Just dab it into that bit so it makes it smoother. Bit of water. close if it goes on any of the black lines then I can always put them back in with pen but I don't want to go on the colour itself being very very careful around this area like that got a bit on his leg I'm have to touch that up oh I can breathe again a little bit It for that bit with <laughs> more water. Full round his butt. Mm. And a bit of brown again, just a tiny bit. Bit of white.
that side, I forgot about that side of the mushroom. for this area want some more water Wind's going up. Yes. Pencil in there, it's not laying down very well. Too small an area. Some water, it's drying out way too quick. I'm also going to swap to the very small brush.
circle around that bit. Good black lines to fill in on the front of his nose, my hand went haywire. Right, I think that's all filled. Right, I can change back to another brush and go back to the top again. some tissue and give this a good clean before I change colour. Thank you Caroline. Right, I'm going to get a bit of red now and test something else for pickle, see if it will work. Bear with me a second, I'll just get some red out of the drawer. some red and some yellow up so we'll have a test with that that's okay Ray enjoy Formula One I can just a touch I don't want much yellow I don't know if pickle still wears but she can always watch this back later race has bide up bye mate <laughs> enjoy your racing That's Caroline's husband. Is it? Yeah. Right, so I'll get some water. Are you playing that silly game again? Oh. And losing. Yeah, miserably at the minute. Oh. Right, let's take some red in there. In this dark that's left. And can you see it's making it a very dramatic purple? I'll lay my tile back down so I can hold the paper. I think we'll do it in this section here. So I'm going very light. back on myself back forward and back on myself and that'll give the fluffy effect because you're dragging it and showing the colour previous through the fluff does that make sense? we come with purple again and We'll bring it across this side and taking it in little swirls over and back 
round and just take it in different directions and then come back again. a bit more red and come over here and down and back down and back and if we take a bit of white on the end and dab it off and you can do the top of a cloud effect obviously it works better in a bigger area but I'm just experimenting on small area at the minute And if we come with some dark over the top of that, it should look like a cloud top. Took some brown in it. Bit of blue. And blue's dried out. Yeah, it's too brown. Hang on a minute, let me put some more ultramarine down. and then just bring it over it but don't cover it all and that should look like top of a cloud then or a cloud behind a cloud take some more red in Up here, and just break up the black a bit. As long as you're going in small amounts, it shouldn't look too red. And if it ends up too light, add a bit of black. Take it over again. race drivers outside again which is yeah. on it oh, yeah. flatten that down that makes a deeper black if you put the red and then the black over the top which is kind of cool right if I wash that off and we'll see where it looks like if we bring a bit of yellow in And there's no right or wrong you can't make a mess on it as soon as it's dry go over it again with a different colour and because we're using minimum amount of water it's uh, not damaging the page you could put layer upon layer. Right, where should we test this one then? Here at the side of this purple. Take it out. Bring it back. But 
that's with the yellow in it it makes like a very dark olive colour take more yellow see what happens take it over here Look, there's a yellow break in the cloud. I'll zoom out again so you can see the full effect. Remove my tile. Find my program again. what it looks like with yellow and red in it. Flatten that down a bit so you can see. Thank you Caroline. The pickle when you watch this back just experiment keep practicing with different colours on top. As soon as it dries you can add more if you want lighter areas like this has got light greys coming through it. You can add light greys after it's dry. But it's a case of keep practicing. Keep adding more till you're happy with it. Right, I'm going to get a scrap bit of card now and show you what I've got an idea of like doing lightning effect. Before we come to an end. Let me get some scrap card. Oh, sorry, not to the camera. White ink. Now, I've got a set of stamps. I don't know if you can see these very well. Uh, best not put that on paint. It's just bare trees. And zoom you back in. Yes, it's a stamp set of bare trees with no leaves or anything on it. And this one here with the long branch makes a cool effect of a lightning storm in a black background. So I put it on a stamp block and see if I can get the practice sheet. This is where I've been practicing to see which would best effect. Um, this is with white stampers ink. It's pigment ink, not dye based, because I wanted it to sit on top, not soak in. So I got uh, pigment based. So that is that one where it's stamped with that. Um, and then I thought, oh, I'll try it with acrylic paint, but it's a bit of a miss. Uh, can you see? But it's still a cool effect. It's just that it's not as clear as where it is with the ink. Right, 
and then I practiced again and thought well if I can define it a bit more we are um, uh, what do you call it signo white pen gel pen and follow the line of what had been stamped so that makes it stand out even more then I thought, oh, the, uh, a lot of people in the colouring community use the Posca pens. So I, I put Posca white straight onto the stamp, wet it with a bit of water because it dries out awfully quick, and then stamped it down. Now, that effect I don't like because it much smushes out, it spreads out too much, and it, you lose the effect of the lightning. But the Signo pen, if you've got the patience to follow the line and yans don't shake, that is a cool effect. To do the white ink so it fades into the background and then make some of the lines stand out as brighter, it could lift it off the page with a Signo pen. So, I'll show you what it looks like. Get some scrap card. And this is just the Nina Solar White from Crafters Companion, in case you wondered what card I was using. There are a lot of stampers use this card because it's good for holding the um, colour instead of soaking in too much. So, if I just slap dash some colour quickly on here, in a general area, Drying out awfully quick, which is a good thing because I can stamp on it quicker. As you can see, it's a lot easier doing a cloud effect on a flat piece of paper with no drawings in the way. Let me go and get a quick blast. Let's have a spare socket. Just bear with me a sec. I've done plug phone for two seconds. Not enough sockets in this house. Where's the dot? No. Right. It shouldn't be allowed this because it's only a quiet one. I'll quickly dry this so I can stamp on it. There we go. Said it won't take long, didn't I? Put my phone back in so I don't lose you. Right. And because I've only done a painted a small area, I'm only going to ink up the very end.
Now these blocks I got from Crafter's Companion, they're called rocker blocks because they're not flat. I'm no good with flat stamping. Um, I just can't do it. But these work brilliant for me, so that's why they probably look different to what the uh, ink block ink mounts you've got. And I'm just gonna come across the sky and you roll it like that. And you can either do a secondary stamp without putting ink on again and that'll give you a, a different effect. Um, let me zoom you down a little bit more with my camera mount to see if you can get it enough. Because it doesn't seem to be showing up at the minute. I'll put a bit more ink on. Quite a bit of ink this time. I'll take it straight across there. Now you can see it. And if you do a full picture, blacked out sky with random forks of lightning in it, I think that would look awesome. And obviously the darker the area, it will show up more and then it will fade off into the light area. So it will look like proper lightning. So that's where I've been experimenting with yesterday. See, I experiment first, see if it's going to work and then I share it with you guys. They are gorgeous stamps yeah, and they're quite cheap. Um, I shall have to find the company name and put a link down below for when it uploads all the video, Caroline. Or I'll send you a separate link as well. I'll put the link underneath for anybody who's watching this back and I'll send you a message with linking. I'll go and search them out as soon as I've done. Are they by a company called Creative Expressions. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll send it on Instagram. Um, Creative Expression Expressions are an English company, but they do sell world worldwide, so you will be able to find them in other countries. So I'll find a link on online itself and I'll see if I can find them on Amazon for you and put them in the link below. So that's it. I've done the experimenting for today. So what do you think? More cool ideas for you. And I'll put the picture back up so it shows it at the end. Put that one out. It records the last picture that's on the screen when I end the stream, so rather than it looking like it's a stamping uh, picture, I'll put that one back on. Right, so I know I'm only. I'm, eight minutes early but I'm gonna end the stream now <laughs> you're welcome I like experimenting as much as what uh, you like enjoying watching it so you're welcome anytime right enjoy rest of your day everybody and I hope to see you again soon Thank you for coming. Bye.
Caroline says bye, Doc. Bye. Enjoy your day.